Uh, well, good morning, everyone, and can I welcome members to the sixth meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, agenda item one is a uh, decision on taking business in private, and it's proposed that the committee take items five, six, and seven in private. Item five is the consideration of the Delegated Powers provisions in the Air Departure Tax Scotland Bill. Item six is the consideration of our stage one report on the Railway Policing Scotland Bill to the Justice Committee. Item seven is the consideration of the committee's approach to the scrutiny of the contract third party rights Scotland Bill. So does the committee agree to consider items five, six and seven in private? Agreed. Many thanks. Agenda item two is instruments subject to the affirmative procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Draft Budget Scotland Act 2016, Amendment Regulations 2017, or the Draft Scottish Tribunals, Listed Tribunals Regulations 2017, or the Draft First Tier Tribunal for Scotland Tax Chamber and Upper Tribunal for Scotland Composition Regulations 2017, or the Draft Tribunals Scotland Act 2014 Ancillary Provisions Regulations 2017. So is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Thank you. Agenda item three is instruments subject to negative procedure and the first negative instrument under consideration today is the National Health Service Superannuation Scheme Miscellaneous Amendments Scotland Regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number 27. And the main purpose of this instrument is to make changes to the pay and earnings band stated in the relevant tables and the regulations against which the employee contribution is set for the NHS superannuation scheme for year 2017-18. Scottish Government has acknowledged that an error has been made in Regulation 1-2. The regulation provides that various provisions in the regulations will have effect retrospectively from various dates. There has been an oversight as the Scottish Government intends that regulations 31 and 40 should not come into force on the 13th of March 2017 as is provided for but should have effect retrospectively from 6th April 2016. As a result, Regulations 31 and 40 would be commenced with effect from a date which is not the one intended. Accordingly, does the Committee agree to draw the instrument to the attention of Parliament under Reporting Ground I as Regulation 1-2 appears to be defectively drafted? Yes, agreed. Thanks very much. Um, the Scottish Government has, however, undertaken to make the necessary amendment to provide for that retrospective effect when the National Health Service Superannuation Scheme 2008 section, Scotland Regulations 2013, SSI, SSI 2013 number 174, are next amended. So does the committee agree to welcome that undertaking that it will be amended in due course? Agreed. Many thanks. Um, no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the National Health Service Pension Scheme Scotland Miscellaneous Amendments Regulation 2017, SSI 2017 number 28. So is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Many thanks. Agenda item four is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Community Justice Scotland Act 2016, Commencement Number 2, Transitional and Saving Provisions, Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, Number 33. So, is the committee content with this instrument as well? Content. Many thanks. Uh, I now move the meeting into private.